Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to install SQL Developer on the Windows 10. Let's get started. Let's open your browser. Here, search for the SQL Developer. Go to this link. Look at here. Here we have many options like for Windows 64 bit, for Windows 32 bit, and the Mac, and for the Linux. My system is Windows 10 64 bit. So I am clicking on this to download. We need to accept the license. If you don't have any account in the Oracle, you need to create the account. If you have the account in the Oracle, then only you need to sign in with the, your account username and password. Now that got downloaded successfully, click on this show in folder. We got the zip file. I need to extract this zip file. I will click on this and I will give the extract here. That got extracted successfully. Now we got this folder. Inside this SQL developer folder, we will be having application. Look at here, we have this uh, application here. We need to open this. Now, SQL developer got installed successfully. Now we need to connect this developer, SQL developer with the server. I have already downloaded the Oracle server. It is there in my system. Now I need to connect with that Oracle server. Click on connection. I need to give the username and password. Uh, first, I need to give the connection name. I will give the connection name as test. Anything you can give. Username of Oracle database is system. And uh, password, we need to give whichever we gave while installing the Oracle database. Click on the save password. And here the host name is localhost. Usually, Oracle developer will be taking the default port number as 5021. But in my system, some other service is running in that port. So, it took 5122. So, I will change the port number here. And I will test this connection first. Look at here. Status is success. Now, First, I need to save and I will click on the connect. If you save the connection, that will be available here. You can use always. That connection will be there in this. Then, in the database, all the default tables are there. I haven't created any new tables. So, it is showing all the default tables. If you want to create any tables here you can write the query and create the table okay that's it now i done with installing the sql developer on the windows 10 and connecting to the database that's it if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching have a nice day